Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. I'm on my way up to the storage yard this morning. I'm going to collect the caravan. We're going to take her back. She needs a good wash. Uh, we haven't done uh, a caravan wash for some time since we used her last, which was many, many months ago. Uh, obviously, you know, you know about the uh, car uh, and stuff like that. We've uh, changed our car uh, from the Kia Sorento uh, to now the Kia Sportage. Um, if you've not seen them videos, I'll leave a link up here um, and you can have a look at them. Uh, we've also um, got all the paint off the tow bar and uh, that's all nice and shiny. We, uh, we do like a shiny ball. Um, so I know there's plenty of jokes out there and excuse me, I'm just looking at the road. I know there's plenty of jokes out there of people, uh, you know, about their uh, shiny tow ball. So uh, I'm just getting mine in as well. But anyway, yes, we're gonna go out and collect the caravan, uh, bring her back, give her a lovely wash. Uh, we've got to do the inside as well. We've got a lot of stuff that we need to take out of the caravan. And when I say a lot of stuff, I don't mean heavy stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, it's just stuff that we don't really want to take with us because we've got no intentions of using it. It's, um, you know, we're going away uh, for seven nights um, and it's just, you know, it's just stuff you don't need to be taking. Um, I did have a conversation with Sarah about um, weight issues, well not weight issues, but weight. Um, you know, we've got literally, uh, you know, uh, four of everything and, you know, there's only me and Sarah plus Sally. Uh, Sally doesn't drink out of plastic beakers, so I don't really see the point of having them. You know, and Sarah's argument was that, um, well, you know, what if anyone comes over for a drink? Well, normally, and correct me if I'm wrong, <coughs> excuse me, um, people, if they come over to your caravan for a, you know, to, for a chat or a drink or whatever, normally <coughs> they would bring their own, um, you know, uh, their own uh, glass or beaker or plastic, you know, drinking utensil so I want to <coughs> excuse me I've got a frog in my throat so I want to try and cut down the amount of weight that uh, that we're carrying uh, to to such an extreme that you know um, it's negligible to the weight of the caravan um, you know I just I just don't see the point of carrying around dead weight so anyway we're uh, we're about a quarter of a mile from the caravan I'm gonna stop waffling on we'll get up there well, hitch her on. This will be the first time we've actually hitched her on. Well, we did a little dry run the other day uh, of uh, hitching her onto the caravan. That was just to do a photo uh, of, of the caravan actually on the car for the very, very first time. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm, I, I will pick this back up once we've uh, put the caravan back on the car and uh, we'll go from there with it. So we're just waiting for the gate to undo. <clears throat> we're gonna um, go in. I've um, got to take the axle stands out from underneath the caravan. So I'll show you how I do that. I have uh, done that in a previous video and I'll leave a link up here uh, for them videos. Um, it's really simple, um, the way I do it. Um, I use a, a rattle gun. Um, I'm Unfortunately, someone's in the way. They, this is a, a one-way system here, and some people don't use the one-way system, unfortunately. So people get in the way. So now I'm having to go the wrong way around the one-way system. Okay, so caravan is on. She's all hooked up. I've just got to put the uh, mirrors on. As you can see, she's sitting really well on the car. On the car. Uh, no problem there at all. It's all hitched up very well. Uh, not a problem. We cleaned the ball before we actually uh, put the caravan on. But um, she's, um, yeah, she's all right. She's a bit green. Um, she needs cleaning around the lights and everything. Uh, all the back panel, as per normal, gets really dirty. But uh, all in all, she's not too bad. I mean, I put these yellow strips on, uh, awning strips, um, before we actually washed her but um, we're gonna take her home now and give her a really good wash and uh, and uh, go from there so see you back at the house 
Okay, so we've got the caravan on. She's um, we're just pulling out of the yard, so uh, we're not going to uh, race off like a loony. Um, <clears throat> I need to get used to this car with a caravan on it, as well as the caravan. Uh, you know, uh, I suppose needs to get used to the car. Um, but I mean, that might sound silly. But uh, as far as I'm concerned, you know, there's a way of doing things and uh, precautions are a key. So, uh, so far, so good. Let's, uh, let's go and open the gate. Right, so we're out of the storage yard and uh, we still have to go a little bit slow here because uh, uh, this is a working farm and uh, they've got horses here on the left, on the right hand side. So, uh, you know, just be a bit careful of them. But um, so far, she seems, uh, it doesn't seem to be a problem for the car. Um, I didn't think it would be. I mean, don't don't get me wrong, you get that obvious, obvious bouncing, you know, because there's something heavy hanging off the back of the car. But no different to the Sanyon, no different at all. So far, I'm pleasantly surprised and ple pleasantly pleased, I should say, actually. That's probably the better word to use. We have uh, a, 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 a storage, a, not a storage, I'm sorry. We have a, a campsite here uh, and it's part of the caravan and motorhome site. So what I'll do is I will insert uh, a picture here now of the actual site name and uh, you can uh, look them up. Um, it's a, a really nice little site. It's, uh, there's no electricity, uh, there's no, um, uh, toilet facilities or showers um, it's just a basic field um, and to be honest hang on let me stop I can see it from where I am now one two three four five six I think there's six caravans over there at the moment there's one motorhome as well seven um, so yeah it, um, it's a good little site um, if anyone ever wants to go there Honestly, and I'm, you know, I mean, it's, it is really quiet up here and I'm all for quietness, you know, um, and it's really quiet. It's about, um, it's a good 800 yards from the main A24, so, but it is a lovely little site. In fact, what I'll do is I will give you the name of the site once we get down to the end of the, uh, uh, the road where the entrance is to this actual uh, site. Um, it's one road in, one road out. There are passing points, um, but if you look on the Caravan and Motorhome app or in the book, it should be in there under CL sites. Um, we've not stayed on it. Um, it <laughs> literally is a mile from where we live, so you know. It, I mean, that is too close, really. But uh, let me just give you the. Let me just do the window up so you can hear me properly. Right, the name of the site is. Uh, it's Upper. No, it's not. It is, I think it's Upper Chanterbury Farm. I think that's the name of the site. I will get it for you and I will put it in a picture for you. Um, the only thing with this site is it is actually, you drive straight out into the A24. There is a bit of a hump in the road. Um, so you do have to sort of come out and around, sort of right, left at an angle. So that, you know, just in case you don't um, bottom your, car or caravan out uh, and sometimes they do like to come out of here a bit fast uh, so you know the best thing to do is just to be slow but steady uh, and let them people come around you that's how I think anyway so right so we're on our way home we're at 30 miles an hour um, she's pulling fine absolutely fine uh, and I've said it previously since we bought this car in other videos I'm so glad we bought this car. It, um, it's proven so far to be a really good tow car. We're gonna move over on the dual carriageway. We've got plenty of uh, time. It's not many cars, it's Sunday, so it's not many cars. So we can move over uh, knowing that, uh, you know, we have plenty of time. 300 yard marker to the roundabout. Being a lorry driver, um, you know, I mean, I, 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 I'm really, really careful with, with the vehicle that I drive being 55 feet long in total. 
Now I know this isn't 35 foot long. I am gonna measure it when we get home. I've got a fabric, you know, a big measuring um, tape that winds up at home somewhere. I've gotta find it. Um, yeah, I've gotta find it and we're gonna uh, give her a, a measure. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, all, I'm all for cautiousness. If that's a word, yes it is a word. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're, we're, we are literally now probably 500 yards from home, so we'll catch you back at the house. Okay, so we actually um, spared you the washing procedure of the caravan, um, as you've seen it before in previous videos. And um, she came up really well. I'll just walk around and show you. It's my cone. <laughs> and um, yeah, she looks all right. We gave her a thorough, thorough wash and um, we waxed her as well. We washed and waxed her two empty uh, gas canisters but I've got a new one which is inside the toilet area or it's going to go inside the toilet area I should say but, uh, let's just take you on the inside oh, it's a bit dark in here let's just open the roof and let a bit of light in so as you can see she's all made up oh I can't show you that on the right hand side. That's the new awning. I want to show you that when uh, when we're done, when we go down to where we're going, and uh, everything is lovely and clean. There's the new magnetic strips. Um, caravan, Paul and Sarah Caravan Life. And believe it or not, it doesn't stick to the fridge. <laughs> it doesn't even stick to that. Sticks to that though. <laughs> But uh, anyway, we'll find somewhere for it to go. But uh, yeah, the first person who sees us uh, on a site will get that and um, yeah, free of charge. Um, but uh, yeah, I think there's nothing else to do. We've um, literally cleaned out the outside um, with uh, all the uh, relevant uh, cleaning materials and that. So it's, um, oh, I've got a new mirror, which I um, replace from the uh, tow mirror. Uh, so I've done that now, that's all done. Um, but yeah, it's all clean. Gonna have some lunch and I'm gonna take it back. Anyway, like, share, subscribe. Please give it a thumbs up if you thought it was interesting and we will see you very, very soon in the next one.